So here's another offensive use of armbar as a backup plan. This backup plan is when I'm trying to omoplata of somebody. And what happens is the guy starts to move his body away from me. All right. So what I want to do is I want to create a little space. Now I'm going to drop my right knee down. What I'm looking to do is bring my shin as low to the floor as possible, perpendicular to my, to my opponent. Now I'm going to scoop the hand and I'm going to bring the other leg over. If you can swim your leg, that's even better. If you can't, that's okay. You can post on his hip. I bet you guys can't figure out what the fulcrum is. It's my right shin right now. Tap. So this time I switched to joystick control. All right? Very important. This is the most important aspect of this is to make sure your shoulder, I mean, his shoulder is pinned with your right shin. What I'm looking to do is almost like I was trying to cut his shoulder off. This is very important. Heavy, heavy, heavy. Be very careful because when you're doing this arm bar, you don't think that you have anything because his elbow might be just outside your hips. So it works. Usually what people do when I, when I teach this at a seminar, what people do, they, they don't think they have anything. They crank it hard. And a lot of times the far side guy kind of taps light. They don't think until they start screaming. So you, this is going to be a very surprising one. It's not easy to get because what I'm looking to do is all my, as much of my body weight as possible in the shin between my uh, heel and my knee. This is how I'm bringing him down. I bring the top leg over. Guys, you can hook this on his hip. You can actually hook on, on the far side leg, or you can actually, if you can, you can weave it under. And now, tap. I use the joystick grip. Let's look at it from another angle. So again, this is a very specific response um, to an omoplata threat. There's other follow-ups to omoplata, but this one is really good when the guy starts to react a certain way. What he starts to do is kind of, notice how he moved his butt away. What he's trying to do is go back into the guard, square up to me. He's waiting for me to try to triangle him and now he's back in my guard. So when I have this response, what I do is, is slide out a little bit away from him. So I was, I was close, I slide out and use my shin to bring his shoulder back. I will square up away from him a little bit, grab with a, this time I want joystick grip. My outside leg, in this case, my left leg, if I can, I will swim under his torso. If I can, either hips or sometimes you could actually hook under the leg. Tap. I didn't even apply the pressure. So if you're gonna play with this, make sure you're very careful because you, I guarantee you, you will not feel like you have anything. All right, but you gotta make sure that shin is very heavy. And without it, you do have nothing actually. So that shin has to be press, pressing down on his shoulder. One more time. I move away and tap, tap. This is gonna be done. 